Welcome to my organizational behavior playlist. Today, I'll discuss about the stages of group formation. So let's see first of all the question that can be asked in the examination. Explain stages of group formation. The weightage can be 4 marks to 7 marks. So let's see. First of all, try to understand what is a group. A group refers to two or more individuals who have come together with a common objective. So it is really very simple. A group means two or more individuals who have come together with a common objective. The members of a group interact and are interdependent on each other with the view of achieving a particular object. A group is a collection of individuals who interact with each other such that one person's action have an impact on the others. Some other simple ways you can give the definition of a group like First, several people or things that are together on the same place that is called as group. Next, several people who are connected by some shared activities or you can say interests or quality that is also called as group. Next, several individuals assemble or having some unifying relationship. Next, a set of people who meet or do something together because they share the same purpose or ideas. So these all are actually the concept of the group. Now let's see the stages of group formation. Here you can see these are the five different stages in sequence for the group formation. That is forming, storming, norming, performing and adjoining. And here I have shown the symbol also. So from that also you can understand the detail in each stages for the group formation. So Tuckman, that is actually the name of the organizational behaviorist, define five group development stages. Forming, next storming, next norming, next performing and at last adjoining. So keep in mind these all are actually the stages of the group formation. But the important and very interesting point is sequence. Each differs by behavioral patterns. So let's see one by one each stages of the group formation briefly with the help of this chart. So focus over here. Already we have discussed these five different names for the stages of group formation. And here you can see this is actually team effectiveness versus time. So with the help of this chart, automatically you can understand these five different stages. So let's start from the first forming. This is the first stage here you can see of a team coming together. A group of people have come together to accomplish a shared purpose. At the beginning, confusion is high. People are uncertain and they are overly polite and pleasant. This stage can last a while as people get to know each other. So from this figure you can understand this is actually the first stage of the group formation where excitement, anticipation, anxiety and optimism. So these are actually the different characteristic at this forming stage. So this is actually the starting stage of the new team. The team act as individuals. There is a lack of clarity about the team's purpose and individual roles. So initially in the forming stage, there is a lack of clarity about the role of each team members and their purpose. 
Now the second stage, storming. This stage often starts when they voice their opinions and as a result of this, a conflict may arise between team members as power and status are assigned. So this is the common nature of each and every human beings. So when the team members voice their opinions or you can say give their opinions, as a result of this, a conflict may arise between the team members as power and status are concerned. So this is the hardest stage in the development of any team and undoubtedly your team will be at its least effective here. From this chart also you can understand at Stormy there is a least team effectiveness. Teams may also disagree on goals and thus subgroups may form. Many teams often fail at this stage. This stage is marked by conflict and competition because personalities and working styles begin to evolve. The members of the team are unfamiliar on how to communicate with each other. Now the next stage and here you can see actually this figure indicates the behavior in norming stage. The team will begin to resolve their interpersonal differences, appreciate others and form working relationship. Here you can see they shared goals, team cohesion, trade-offs and acceptance. So these are the different characteristics that is actually at the norming stage. In this stage, all team members take the responsibility and have the ambition to work for the success of the team's goals. They start tolerating the whims and fancies of the other team members. They accept others as they are and make an effort to move on. So it is very simple. They start tolerating each others. They accept others as they are and make an effort to move on. That means they are looking towards the goal only. At this point, performance increase as the team begins to cooperate and focus on the goals. Here you can see effectiveness will increase compared to this storming stage because at this point the team begins to cooperate and focus on the goals only. People feel part of the team and realize that they can achieve goal if they accept others viewpoints. Next one, performing stage. At this point, relationships are formed and there is a clear and stable structure. The team is mature at this stage and well organized. Problems and conflict, of course, do still arise, but they are dealt with effectively. The prime focus of the team is on problem solving and meeting goals. At this stage, effectiveness is at its peak. From this figure also you can understand the team effectiveness is at peak for the performing stage. For the performing stage, these are the different characteristics, teamwork, cohesiveness, in equilibrium, and value adds. Now the last stage of the Tuckman stages of group formation that is the adjoining. Simply you can say separating. This is the point where the project comes to an end and the team separates and goes their separate ways. Some team members may find this hard because they like the routine of the group, have made close friendships, etc. Group's leaders should allow 
or celebration sometimes. Here you can understand from this figure, particularly for the adjoining different points I have written over here, separation, anxiety, what next, uneasy because of some team members may find these hard because they like the routine of the group and have made close friendships. Now this is the summary of the stages of the group formation. Forming, storming, norming, performing and adjoining. So this is actually in sequence. Here the group will start and here task will finish and so that it is the last stage adjoining of the group. If you have any question then write in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.